Hi everybody. I had to switch phones because my uh, my other iPhone eventually just died. It's too hot, so I switched over to my backup iPhone. So um, once again, uh, for those of you that saw the first, I don't know, two minutes or so, I'm here in my hangar. Thanks, Andy, for joining. I'm sorry I keep having to cancel this video, but Andy's watching. Haven't talked to Andy in a while. So we're in Jason's hangar. Um, I'm looking at the new upgrades to the Warrior. I'll close the baggage compartment here so I can step up onto the wing. So the new interior is actually pretty nice. Uh, it's gray with uh, sort of wine-colored vinyl. Um, I got these seats, actually, this entire set of seats I bought on eBay. Um, and then I had the upholsters match the upholstery for the sideboards which is actually pretty cool. So it's hard to tell, but there's a lot of fine detail work here and it goes all the way up around the entrance here. Uh, but putting all this new upholstery and all these side panels in took um, probably about four days of solid work, eight hour days for one person to do it. So it's a lot of work. Um, the cockpit still looks the same. Uh, those are all my new avionics that I had installed about four months ago, four, four or five months back. Um, but the cockpit smells really nice now because I've got all basically brand new interior. Um, my uh, mechanic even redid my pilot operating handbook for, for me as well as my log books, which is really nice. It's interesting, the back seat, uh, the top of the back seat actually is a little higher, which is kind of nice. So let's walk around the airframe and take a look at what they did. So... Oh, this helicopter's taking off. Here, let's see if we can get a shot of it take, taking off. Hopefully my phone won't overheat again. This is an iPhone 10, so hopefully this won't overheat. Looks like they're getting ready to take off here. So that guy there is in the hangar, about three hangars down from, from me, which is kind of cool. But, um, oh, sounds like they're taking off. Yep, there they go. So they're doing an air taxi, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, so all brand new uh, magnetos, brand new wiring in the engine compartment. One thing that's actually really nice is they they refiberglassed the nose cone. So there was a huge crack here under the spinner um, that had to be repaired. And so the nose cone is basically brand new, which is really nice. Another thing that they did is they took off both of my fuel tanks. So this is the right fuel tank, uh, and they pro-sealed both fuel tanks. Both uh, fuel tanks had some weeping leaks uh, coming out the bottom here under some of the rivets. Um, and that's really bad because, aside from the obvious, losing fuel, uh, aviation fuel for these aircrafts is actually dyed blue, and it was dripping down onto the top of my wheel fairings and staining them. So. Um, this uh, fifth, uh, 25 gallon tank has been repaired with all new hardware, which is really nice. Uh, what else did they do? Uh, let's see. Oh, the big one. One of the big ones. Yeah. So this, this left aileron here um, used to have a nasty crack right here. And you can certainly put a patch on them. Uh, it's not really legal, um, but you can certainly do that. But I chose to just have the whole skin replaced. So... When you take off this uh, piece of the aileron, um, they sell these skins individually. It's just an aluminum skin, and then you have to have it repainted. Um, so that takes quite a long time. So what else did they do? Oh yeah, the rudder. I have a brand new rudder. So uh, the rudder actually had some trailing edge cracks. It had actually two, one here and one about here. They were really imperceptible. They were very difficult to see, but Unfortunately, you're not allowed to fly with cracked control surfaces. Uh, uh, control surfaces. It's kind of uh, against the rules. A lot of people do it, but um, it's pretty unsafe. Uh, a lot of other little things. They, they cleaned up a lot of the rust underneath the airframe. Uh, they redid this step for, for me. This step was actually cracked behind the mount here, behind, and so they uh, pulled that off, re-welded it, and repainted that um so many